let's take a look at some chart action for Cardano. All right, so we were in this rising channel going something like this. I was watching this bottom trend line for a break to the downside as a signal to take profits. So we broke that trend line going to the downside, and then we were getting some support in this little triangle right there. We broke that support line going to the downside right there as well. Every time we break these trend lines, that's a signal to take profits, or if we break a top trend line, to buy, in my opinion. It's called trading the breakouts. So what we're doing now is we're gonna, do so what I'm looking at now is doing a Fibonacci retracement from the bottom to the top, something like that of this trend right here. And we do a Fibonacci retracement tool from the bottom to the top, and that gives me these levels we can watch. So what I did is I took some profits right here. So what I'm doing is I'm dollar cost averaging in these levels here. I bought a little tiny bit back right here, a and then put a little bit more back here, and then a little bit more back here, and pretty much the same amount right there. So these levels are sitting around 2.04, which has already gotten clearly passed. This level at 1.92, which is looks like it's getting a little bit of support on right now. And then this next one at 182, which is the 50% level. That's the one that I really like to watch. And then we got uh, one at 1.71. And I'm not sure if we'll make it all the way down to this one. It's possible. But uh, yeah, usually... I'm not sure. We'll have to keep an eye on it anyways. It's another level to watch. Like you can see right now, we're getting a little bounce right here on this level right now at 1.92 so what I did is I put in my limit orders at these levels so it, the price is automatically going to get bought once the price goes down there let's take a look at Cardano to Ethereum this is kind of interesting we had been looking at this a few days back and we had this big downtrend compared to Cardano uh, to Ethereum going like that we broke that downtrend going to the upside right there and then we had another one we had another trend line right there and we broke through that one like nothing as well we're on the daily time frame we had this 180 moving average coming in right there we broke through that as well these were the steps that i was telling you guys to watch i was saying that we're probably going to get some resistance at this red line right here and actually look at where we're getting resistance at right there at that red line so i think maybe if we could go straight for a little bit like if we could just maybe do something like that just bounce kind of up and down straight right here or even maybe come up with this nine moving average maybe we'll get support on this nine moving average and it'll start pumping back up but if we could break out of this area right here i would say let's look for maybe some maybe look for us to get up to these levels or maybe even this level right here or something like that I'm not sure. We already broke that trend line going to the downside right here. So I'm basically watching this downtrend right here. It's basically going to the downside. It's actually kind of going a little more sideways. But if we could break this top trend line right there, that'll signal us that we're ready to go back into Cardano or Cardano is ready to just get bullish more in general. So, but if we break to the downside, then that's going to show weakness that Ethereum is doing better. And we're going to be wanting to look at Ethereum. If we go to the total crypto market real quick, I've been talking about this in Dogecoin. And in general, my on a short, I think I did a video about this anyways. We have this upwards channel going something like this. I've been saying until we break this bottom trend line going to the downside, that I'm not going to worry too much. But it looks like we're really testing it and we did break below it for a minute. So let's see if we can hold support here or if we're going to go down even further. If we go down, we could maybe get support in this. If we go down, maybe we could get support on this 38% level somewhere here at 1.76 trillion. And that wouldn't be too far of a bounce down. And then we'd also find this uh, previous support right there. And then the other thing would be maybe if we do a... Uh, a target with this channel maybe do from the top to the bottom of it let me see something like I would say something right here because we have a point of contact right here pretty much all in right here and then we have one right here and right here so we're, we'd find the target on the back of the, the, the channel and you could probably argue either somewhere right here or maybe somewhere right here it's a pretty similar target so let's drag that to the breakout, maybe going to the downside, and maybe actually we're looking at 1.6. Maybe we're going down a little further. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see if we even break this going to the downside. I'm not saying that we are for sure. 
we don't know still because we still haven't done it but we are really testing it and we are in technically a downtrend right now until we break this trend line not that not that one this one this one was going straight and we broke that so let's just get rid of that until we break this trend line going to the downside like that it looks like we're probably going to have to come up and test it again up here but until we break that one going to the downside then it looks like we're getting resistance anyways and this is on the total crypto market cap so this is basically the main chart that you should be watching i think if you are into crypto because this will give you the big signals like i said if we break that trend line going to the downside maybe we can be in another little downswing something like this same way we got it over here but we found support on it a few times on this uh, channel over here so let's see how far we can ride this channel going to the upside like I said I'm not sure these are just I'm, I'm watching these Fibonacci retracement lines and I'm dollar cost averaging in and out and then if we start breaking these trend lines and I'll start dollar cost averaging in a little bit more if we go to the downside I'll have money in dollar cost cost average in a little bit so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's switch back to Cardano real quick and, and do a recap. So yeah, we're watching these Fibonacci retracements. 50% level, 38% level. Uh, those are the big ones that I'm watching anyways at 182 and 192. Let's see how far we can go down. This is, we are already, I got a limit order on that one right there. And it looks like we're already getting a little bounce. But in general, until we break this downtrend, something like that where we got resistance right here we got resistance right here let's go to the one hour time frame so you could see it better so something like that let's delete that mark real quick and we'll move the trend line a little bit see sometimes the trend lines if you move the if you change the time frame it's gonna the trend lines are gonna be a little different if you want to use the bodies so these are the hours of the these are the uh, bodies of the hourly time frame and we got a downtrend going something like this until we break this trend line right here then i am assuming that it's gonna be heading down but once we do break this trend line then that'll be another signal to dollar cost average in in my opinion that's what i'll be doing anyways all right if you guys like that video hit that thumbs up button and if you want to check out my patreon to get some exclusive videos and do some custom videos for you or maybe a one-on-one -on -one, uh session check out the patreon link in the description